challenging. Unanticipated. Family. Joy. Everyone at Emmanuel is here to bring you closer to the Lord. That's their purpose. And that's why they're on their camp, this campus. that I liked best about Emmanuel or the concept of sending our kids to Emmanuel was the smaller class size um, and more in involvement with the teachers on a personal basis. So for example, I knew a couple of the teachers that were here. Um, if my child was having problems in class, they'd call me and talk to me about it so or invite me in to meet with them. So it was a situation where I felt that the teachers were really invested in my child's education and my child's well-being, not just about um, learning something, but really um, more of their whole being. So it was more of a spiritual as well as an educational basis that the teachers were um, concerned with, and I thought that was really important for my kids. We considered homeschooling and uh, public school and private school, and when we um, when we had determined that private school was really the way that we would go, then the consideration became um, the reputation of the different schools that we were looking at and the fruit that we saw coming out of those schools and really that made Emmanuel our first choice. Every teacher at Emmanuel tries to incorporate Christ into every aspect of their teaching. So as a science teacher, Science is thinking God's thoughts after him. As a math teacher, mathematics is the language of science, so that when we teach, we are always pointing back to Christ. That would be something that would be difficult to do at a school unlike Emmanuel, and it's actually a focus of Emmanuel, is that we are trying in every single subject to show how Christ is the center of everything, not just the center of at chapel, not just the center in our Bible classes, but he is the center of every single thing. It's given me a completely different high school experience than a public school ever could um, in the best way possible. And um, it's truly helped just um, my faith through strengthening through fellowship, because you know you're gonna have fellowship time wherever you are on the Emmanuel campus um, with students or teachers or faculty, the janitors, um, they're all here to bring you closer to the Lord. Well, since attending Emmanuel, um, I've really seen our children bloom. And once they'd been at the school for a while, I just had noticed that there were things um, in their academics that I didn't, that they were growing in that I didn't even know that they were lacking in or realize that they were lacking in at another school. They are, um, they've become, they, all three of them love reading, and that was something that I'd always desired for them, but just hadn't been fostered at their previous school. You know, aside from the core classes, they offer you know, computer apps or, and video classes, you know, classes that will teach us how to you know, film, say, movies for projects that we, we have to do, and uh, it's very professional. The, the teaching really, really helps you emulate what you learn, and so, uh, yeah, definitely. Our academic program is strong, I would say, because of the staff, the teachers that we have, uh, one relationally with our students. The kids are dialed in wanting to learn because of that relationship, as well as they're qualified um, to teach their subjects. We have many kids go off to college, and so our whole goal from K-12 is to prepare them for the opportunity to expand their knowledge, not only here, uh, but in college, as well as give them a biblical worldview. At Emmanuel, the academics of the school are actually quite high. I teach upper math and science. I teach physics and chemistry, algebra, pre-calculus and calculus. And in my classes, one of the real joys is that almost 
all of my students do almost all of their work. I can look at my grade book and probably 50% of the kids turn in every single assignment. They come to class ready, they're prepared, they listen, they work in class, they work when they get home. And when you have that, it just raises the academic level of the entire uh, classroom. And I know that doesn't just happen in my classes, I know it happens in the other class, classes as well. But it means that I'm able to present material and the students are able to learn it and master it because they're willing to work hard. They're learning to learn and they're learning to love learning, which isn't something that they had experienced before and it's something I just love seeing as a parent. Our performing arts department, what we like about that is that uh, it's open to all kids. You have a lot of our athletes uh, involved in our dramas and our choirs. Uh, Mr. Robbins does a real good job of exposing them to other areas of the country. We've even been to uh, other, you know, other countries um, and just having them involved and out in the community singing. They, uh, they believe in the program and uh, they have a fun time in the program, which is key. Again, I think the relationship there is strong and uh, it's just a great program. It involves a lot of our students. The arts program, it, it's fantastic here. We have a great facility to work in and the classes, I, I'm involved in drama and choir, and drama, what's so great about that is, you know, you have some students in there that aren't necessarily the most outspoken people going in, but when they come out, they're a lot more confident, and it really brings out someone you don't see in them, and uh, it's, it's a great time working with uh, those people, and uh, I, I've enjoyed all the shows that we've put on, uh, in choir as well, musicals. Um, our teacher, Mr. Robbins, really, really pushes us to give it our best and to become that character. And so it's, it's an interesting phenomenon, becoming someone else, uh, to, to not think like yourself, you know. And uh, so I think that it's really helped individuals, you know, to be communicative with other people and to, to not be afraid to go out of their way and say hi to someone. So I think that it's, the arts program has really helped our personal lives as well. And in the different musicals, we have the costumes and we're painting the sets and it's pretty much student-led and I think that's really helped us just for in the future too that we can um, go on from here and that it's not just the singing or just the acting but that we're well-rounded and that we can put on a production. One of the great things about our athletic program is that we view it as an extension of our classroom and so we interview all coaches to make sure that they believe in our mission statement, that they're teaching teamwork, leadership, um, working together. Uh, we want to win, but we also know that there's more to life than winning. Um, at Emmanuel, being a smaller school, a lot of opportunity to be involved with different sports, to try new things, uh, especially our junior high kids. They're trying sports for the first time. And we're not asking them to just commit to one sport, we're asking them to be involved to better our school uh, athletically. Athletics at Emmanuel is so open to anyone. My husband nor I did any athletics in school, but our children wanted to be involved. I think if they were in public school with a larger school, they probably wouldn't get to play as many different sports as they've gotten to at Emmanuel. The spiritual life on campus is not just in the classrooms or in the Bible classes. It's also during our chapels and the students, they just love the chapels. And it's evident when you see them in chapel, you see them with the speakers, you see them in the worship times. It's just amazing. I would say also uh, the spiritual life can be seen in our retreats. We have senior girls and boys retreats. We have missions trips. We have trips to Israel. We have uh, choir trips, etc. All of these have a spiritual impact on the students and they all funnel into this stream of spiritual life running through Emmanuel and it's, it's pretty extraordinary. One of the things that students like most about coming to Emmanuel as we've talked to them in the past is chapel. Uh, having chapel a couple of times a week is a time they look forward to. We have a student-led worship team. Uh, we worship together and it's very exciting for them. It's not, um, it's not boring. They're, they're excited to worship together. Uh, you couple that with the ability to follow up on our classes, not only Bible class, but history class and math class, and just to follow up on what's happened in chapel is really strengthening that relationship, gives that family feel, as well as um, our life groups, meeting together in small groups, giving kids opportunities to 
uh, to share their life experiences and to have support in that as well as take those groups and serve in our community has been a real plus and a real teaching moment for our kids. Chapels at the elementary school are an important part of the whole educational process because it brings God into everything that they do from um, the smallest child to the oldest one in the classroom they are able to in the chapels they are able to be actively involved in participating in worshiping the Lord and to learn about Him. And the different teachers truly care about me and um, I just have the opportunity to pray with them and I think at a public school you wouldn't get this kind of opportunity to share with each other in the unity of Christ and I think that it's really important in high school.